Well, hello. It is Saturday and I'm starting up my weekly reseller vlog where I film sales as they come in, um, show you any new inventory that came in, give any tips or tricks, spin a pig. Only one sale to start the day. This is Fat Bob, Harley Davidson Fair. Um, oh, these flakes, so bad. Um, he was $13.99 with free shipping. <laughs> I couldn't, I get, I'm a sucker for these because I have some of my own or I used to. And, um, you know, if they're like a quarter or something and clean, I can't help but getting them. But this baby will go out first class. Um, started promoted listings again for the week. And I know in the last video I had shown the um, rack of sweaters that I got in. And I said I was going to haul them for you and then I didn't. So hopefully I'll remember to do that this video. We'll see. It is Sunday morning. I have six orders to start the day. Yay. I sent a few um, offers to watchers last night. Uh, $20 on this vintage Mickey marionette puppet toy. $10 on a pack of wrapping paper. Um, and then everything else was full price. Another pair of these Michael Kors earrings sold for $24.99. This uh, vintage Mickey and Minnie, what is it? Piggy bank. Good grief. I can't even think. Uh, $29.99. This Avengers movie, $14.99. And then this necklace I got in a Rachel Zoe subscription box. I'm not sure if that's been up. I think it's been up by the time you see this video, that video will have been up. Um, and I sold that for $59.99. So the box was a hundred dollars. I have th two items from the box listed. And then I kept two and I put one in a giveaway. So it's nice when I'm able to, you know, sell two or three items out of a subscription box to make the money back on it. Um, and then, like I said, I get things for myself. I have things for giveaways. It's kind of like that shop for free um, mentality. I think there was a book about it, how to shop for free. Like you buy something at a good deal, you sell, you get two, you sell one, or like I'm doing with subscription boxes. I get the box, I can sell a couple things out of it, pay for it. So anyway, yeah, um, all of these items are shipping for free and Papa's excited because he wants to do some shipping. It is Monday night, had one more order. Uh, these are Mara Hoffman swim pants, like a cover up. Original 265 MSRP. These sold for $59.99 with free shipping. And let me just double check here. I weigh before I list stuff, but let me just double check. Oh, good. It's under 16 pounds or 16 pounds. Yeah, it's under 16 pounds. It's it's a pound or less. So it can go first class. It is a Monday morning. I had two eBay orders overnight. This vintage Donald Duck puppet finally sold for $19.99. And then this is a BCBG size small black tunic top. It sold for $29.99. Both of these um, I have free shipping on, and both will go first class. It is Tuesday morning. Do you have a Tuesday morning store in your area? I used to source there some when we had one. We didn't have one for very long. We had one, and then they tore it down because they put Texas Roadhouse, built a new building where it was. I think Cedar Rapids has one. But anyway, let me know if you have a Tuesday morning store in your area, and if you shop there. Um, but here are my eBay sales overnight. I... Did an offer to watchers on this needle point and it sold for eleven dollars uh these are some lashes that came in a subscription box i sold these for 12.99 trying to get better about listing stuff from the subscription boxes that i can make my money back on because then it's basically like getting the boxes for free and then these Sorel, Sorelli earrings sold for 24.99 and because i do have jewelry now i did get some just uh, jewelry boxes from Amazon and that way get a nice little presentation there um, so $24.99 on those all of these items I do have free shipping on all will ship first class it is Tuesday night I am exhausted <laughs> this day I oh so busy and so much going on but you know what I did no work at all it was just other things appointments errands house stuff and the fact that it is so hot and humid here it just makes it worse. It's like I've been feeling like I was going to melt all day. But anyway, almost time for bed. Um, I do have two more eBay orders to end out the day. Uh, this long mirror uh, DVD sold for $12.99. And then this pair of Vince pants. These sold for $39.99. I 
there's the original retail. Um, it's kind of funny on this high price stuff. <coughs> I feel like the higher price something is with the MSRP, the bigger discount you're going to have to give to sell it versus something that is a lower price. So like these, what, 375, I sold them for 40 bucks versus I have some pants that maybe the MSRP was 50 or 40 and I'm pretty sure I can sell them for, you know, 30, 25. You can, your discount that you have to give off the MSRP is lower when the actual MSRP is lower. Do you know what I mean? Because this kind of stuff, people want a deal. They're like, Ooh, I want a pair of, what are these Vince pants? And I'm looking for the best deal versus they really need or not need quote unquote need, but maybe a pair of work pants or something that they're used to buying. It's their size style, whatnot. And they're more willing to just be like, okay, that's my, that's my pants or, uh, you know, pants style, or that's the shirt I really like. And they'll just buy it versus, you know, this kind of thing. I mean, they just want them probably because they're Vince. I mean, they're cute for style, but it's not, this kind of stuff isn't necessity clothes. You know what I'm saying? Do it make any sense? Or am I talking because I'm so tired that I'm delusional? Okay, I'm going to get these shipped out. <laughs> it is Wednesday, and it's actually Wednesday afternoon. Um, finally getting down to my eBay orders. Two today thus far. Another Hallmark, Mary's Angels. This one sold for $13.99. Free shipping. It'll go first class. I probably could mark these up a bit with the holidays coming, but I don't know. I got other things to do. <laughs> And then this is a pair of NYDJ, not your daughter's jeans. These are maternity pants. And these sold for $49.99, again, with free shipping. Both of these will go first class. I haven't listed anything in days. I don't have any drafts, any photos taken at all. I've just been really busy with other stuff. So um, no sales are going on. I have promoted listings, and that's it. So at least to get some sales trickled in, but it would be nice if I could at least get some new stuff up, but I'm not putting any pressure on myself because like I said, there's a lot of other stuff going on. I'll get to it when I get to it. It is Thursday. It's actually Thursday afternoon. <laughs> Another busy morning. My dad really wanted to mow the lawn today and I was trying to hold him off, but I finally said, okay, um, I just didn't want to get sweaty dirty today. It's another humid, gross day, but I finally was just like, well, I'm just going to have to do it and just take another shower. So because while he's driving around on the tractor, I have to go out and pick up all the sticks. And we had a storm the other night. And then I have to do the trimming and, you know, help him and all this stuff. So he, you know, he zips around on the tractor in the nice breeze and he gets off and he's fine. And meanwhile, I'm a sweaty, dirty, filthy mess afterwards. But it is done. Um, we're waiting now for another storm to potentially hit this afternoon. So, um, yeah, fun times. But I did sell this... Um, needle craft kit. Uh, this one sold for $19.99 and it does have free shipping and it's light enough to go first class. Okay, before I forget again, I need to haul these sweaters for you guys. So this is a liquidation lot of sweaters I got in a while back. Um, they have not been listed. <coughs> Excuse me, probably by the time you see this video, they still won't be listed and some will go to the consignment store. So I'm, I'm doing the best I can here to get caught up. Uh, but let's just jump in first is and I do have the flash on so the colors are a little faded through the camera an extra large color works This is not a sweater sweater, but you know things get put in with him. This is Leo and Nicole. It's a size large. Whoa Okay, you can just lay there Leo and Nicole if you're gonna be that way 520 America I've never heard of this brand But it's a sweater dress This is, this haul is not going well. <laughs> um, the fifth label, extra small. It's like an open weave sweater. I have two of these 520 America short sleeve cardigans, open weave with like this, what is it? Like knitted detail, it has pockets. This one is an extra small. There's the tag. And this one is also an extra small. Joan Vaz, size one. I'm assuming that's vanity sizing of some type. I've never heard of that brand. Oh, there we go. Size one is an 810. 
Well, that's helpful, Joan. Thanks for providing that. I have two of these Nanette Lepore black and white cardigan sweaters. It has the fringe. On Deck Cardi, right? Retail, or MSRP, $348, and large, and I have two, both in a large. Then I have this Theory gray sweater in a large, $365, says it's cashmere. Well, aren't we fancy? Another, oh, wait, another one of these Joan Vaz. Is this the same thing? Is this the same thing, Joan? Yes. We've got three Joan. Here we've got a one. And I don't know what my dad did with these tags. <laughs> he like turned them around. A zero and another one. Okay. Uh, we have a French connection. It's like a cold shoulder, long sleeve sweater with fuzz, medium. We have a Sag Harbor large cardigan. This will probably go to the consignment store because people around here are familiar with Sag Harbor. <laughs> Uh, this is John Eshaha. This is an extra small black cardigan with like that gray detail. This does not have a tag on it, the price or you know original price tag, um, which is fine. I just have to say you know new without tag. This is some days loving, like an ivory chunky knit sweater in a large. Another French connection sweater this one is also a large another french connection another um cold shoulder sweater kind of got the slit here on the side this is the medium or a medium this is a ruby road which again try something i would take to the consignment store um yeah it's a petite large i'll well, we'll see i'd see i don't know that they would take, it is a sweater, but it's short sleeve. And sometimes when they're doing clothes, they just kind of, you know, they're going fast. They get so much there, so they don't take everything. Another Sag Harbor. This is a cowl neck, extra large, three-quarter sleeve sweater. Another Tribal. This is a large. There's the original tag. Another Sag Harbor. It'll be good to go to the consignment store. A large Armani Exchange. Spell out regularly. What was it? MSRP was $79.50. And it is a medium. A Pendleton cardigan. This is really pretty. It is a size, one size, which is always dangerous because you'll get that person who's like, it didn't fit me. Well, then you weren't in the one size. Don't you fall off this hanger, Pendleton, or else. This is an XOXO large, another cold shoulder sweater. I hope cold shoulders are still in this season. And there's the tag, holiday collectibles. <laughs> it's kind of like a plush, almost like a velour look to it. This is Jack by BB Dakota. And this is a small gold metallic -y. Perfect time of year for this stuff. Another Sag Harbor. I think all these Sag Harbors, another petite large, will be going to the consignment store. Um, because like I said, that's a brand that's known around here. ECI, cold shoulder again, a large. This is three dots cream ivory color cardigan small and again really pretty a lot of detail kind of almost a mesh there this is design history pure cashmere hmm. cardigan large oh fun bell sleeve or yeah bell sleeve Whatever you would call that. Whatever you would call that. Cuff. That's what. Color works. An extra large cardigan. Oh, another French connection. Large. Doesn't that go here? Yes. That goes here with the other one. So I have one in. Oh, two. Both are larges. Yay, multi quantity listing. 
then I have another French Connection, extra small ribbed, and another French Connection, another extra small chunky knit, pink rose, size small. It does not have the original um, drop tag on it. And this again might be one that goes to the consignment store because that is a, a oh, here it is. It's a well-known brand around here. Um, so we'll see. And then an, um, finally Jack by BB Dakota. This is a medium, kind of that fuzzy knit thing. So those are the sweaters. Again, these will not be in my eBay store likely by the time this video goes up for those of you who look over there for things and some will go to the consignment store. I'm so behind on listing. I haven't done any listing in ages. I finally did take some photographs today. I did this stuff. That's going to the consignment store. I did photographs of that stuff. And then these are the things that still need to be photographed. So I'm, I need to get my button gear because it's fourth quarter time and I've totally been neglecting my eBay store and my sales show it. Hello, Dad. Hi. I have to show you on the video every week. Okay. Say hello. Hello. Did you overdo it mowing yesterday? Uh, probably not. Don't, maybe you did? Maybe. Uh-huh. I'll do it next week. <laughs> then you need about three days to recover. Yeah. Yeah. You got your root beer? Yep. You'd have to tell everybody that... I couldn't find the bark, so we had to go with A&W, and it's not as good, is it? It's not as good, but it's okay. Well, I have—I don't know where to find it. You can't, you can't have everything. No, right? got to suffer. Can't have bark's root beer. Got to have A&W. That's what you call a first world problem. <laughs> hi, hi. Oh, you're so cute, Charlie. Are you cute? Is Charlie a good boy? Hey, oh are you a good boy? So cute. Okay, Friday morning, and I have two orders. This is Hallmark Purple Finch. Um, sold for $9.49 with free shipping. And then an Henri, I think that's how you say it, figurine. Uh, this one sold for $37.99. I cracked and did a sale last night, a whopping 5% sale. <laughs> yes, 5% off. But because I have not listed. I have been listing today. I've got some things up. But I have not listed in over a week, and I just feel like my store needed a little kick. So a small sale, even just 5%, I thought maybe that, you know, kind of give it a little something. And then I did photos yesterday, so hopefully I can get some stuff up this weekend and kind of get it revamped and going. But um, yeah, I got a lot of stuff to sell. Usually September isn't like great for me. It's just okay. I don't really, back when I first started reselling, uh, when I had my gift business, like the first year I did it, September was crazy, but that was like the beginning of online shopping. And you, there was only eBay, really. I mean, Amazon sold books, but everything else was eBay. So then it kind of switched to October was busy. Then it was November. Then there was a year when two weeks in December were insane. Last year, it was mainly... I feel like it was October, November. It was pretty busy. So I don't, you know, you know, fourth quarter is coming and you hope this is, you know, you're going to have a certain result. But every year is so different anymore that I just hope that overall <laughs> the October, November and December come together to create a strong quarter um, rather than worrying like, oh, is October going to be this number, November that number? It, it usually tends to work together to work out to about the same um, it's been about the same for the past couple of years for me. So hopefully that will continue. I thought I'd show my garden here. I was doing a garden series on my other channel, my seed sheet garden. Oh, what's this? What happened here? Yeah, Papa ran over it with the tractor. <laughs> I'm like, what happened to my pumpkin out there? I thought I was going to blame the squirrels. And then he said, I ran over it with the tractor. I told him to stay away from this, but whatever, whatever. I've still got a pretty big one in there. I almost feel like I should maybe pick that one. And what has happened here? I don't know. This is the jack-o'-lantern branch, as is that one. And I don't see anything on it. The big pumpkin is actually coming from this branch, which is the munchkin pumpkins. So I've got one, I thought I had some more. No, I don't know where they are. Well, I had that one. 
if I did all of this and only get one sad little pumpkin out of it, ah, oh, what a mess. I've been trying to trim it back, like, you know, watching tutorials online and researching things. There's a little one coming, but another little one had been out and then they fall off. So I don't know. I don't know. Um, these are the tomatoes, obviously. They're glacier tomatoes. I've got three there, two there, just the one over here, I think. Um, so yeah, I had had lettuce that died, the heat killed it. I had sunflowers, the rabbits ate it. So, and I did have, no, that was it. Yeah, the lettuce and the sunflowers were the ones that didn't make it. Um, so now we just got the two pumpkins and the tomatoes, but I think with the weather at first it being so hot, then it'd be cold again. Like it's, it was cold through May, then June and July were just boiling. So I think pumpkins are pretty hardy, but at the same time, I don't know, this is a mess. <laughs> I mean, I would think here we are almost middle of September that I would have some jack-o'-lantern growth if I was gonna get any of them. So I'm kind of just letting them spread now and see if anything else comes up like there's where the pumpkins are supposed to be but those things fall off all the time so i don't know it's been fun to at least watch the branches come out <laughs> whether i get anything or not but um at least i'll have one one little pumpkin for sure unless my dad mows over the entire thing which i wouldn't put past him and there's my charlie oh more branches in the yard it's been storming you having fun, Charlie? Yeah, it's cold again. It was hot all week. Now it's cold, but then I think it's gonna get hot again. I'm ready for it to be cool enough so that we get a frost and the grass stops growing. So Papa will want to stop mowing. When the grass stop when the grass stops growing, Papa will stop mowing. That's my hope. Well, that is the end of another week of reselling. Wanna look at cupcakes? Oop, already ate one. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I had so many errands today, so I stepped into the cupcake place and got some. The one I ate was like a, I don't know what it was. It was like an oatmeal cookie dough in the middle of a peanut butter cupcake with peanut butter frosting and M&Ms. It was, it was a lot. That's wedding cake. It's an almond. Peanut butter cup. And then this is double chocolate delicious. I don't know. They didn't have the greatest flavors today, to be honest. Saturday is a better day. But anyway, I thought I would end you with this lovely picture of a box of cupcakes with one eaten out. <laughs> if you guys liked this week's reselling vlog, be sure to give this one a thumbs up. And of course, make sure you're subscribed. The reselling vlogs go up on Sundays. So be on the lookout for those if that's all you're here for. The other days I have other content, subscription boxes, hauls, shop with me videos. So hopefully you're here for one or the other, or maybe even both. Either way, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.